Okay, we're going to show you how you update the database here on the Pro 3600. We uh, originally did the, uh, or initially did the firmware. This is a USB key drive, and we put the uh, the firmware file on here, a .bin file. It only has, it can only be the only file on the USB key drive, uh, and you have to do this in two steps. One, you have to put the firmware on to receive the database. Then you have to clear the drive, and then you have to copy the red light camera database onto the drive and again it only has to be the uh, one file here single file what we're gonna do is we're gonna plug it into our little dongle here for the USB if you can see that here okay now once the key drive is in we're gonna power up the whistler it'll recognize that the key drive is in there with a file then it'll give us the choice of uh, continuing to apply the update or to cancel there we go we're going to press the next we'll see it go through its procedure System active. we've now applied the photo enforcement database with the GPS unit, the RL360, and now we'll be able to take the Pro 3600 out and uh, see how we do against the photo enforcement locations. Okay, we're coming into uh, Newark, Delaware here by the University of Delaware on 896. I think there are some uh, red light cameras up here, so I want to see how our uh, Whistler Pro 3600 does now that we have the uh, photo enforcement database loaded traffic camera ahead seems like it's going to catch it interestingly enough now as I show you the display down here as I make my approach it's counting down to the intersection and I think it even indicates a number that there are two of them Let's see if I can find them yeah they're here stop at the light here if we look up here we'll see that they're here We're driving here in uh, Wilmington Delaware and it seems like the Whistler photo database is alerting to cameras that are no longer here or in operation at this point Oh, I'm wrong. There's a photo enforcement camera right there. Stand corrected. Sound. Traffic camera ahead. It's indicating 558 feet, one camera. Photo enforcement area. It's the uh, Cobra I radar app using the Aura database. We got a couple lights to go before we get to the intersection, about 270 feet from here. Okay, we're coming up to the intersection. I'm gonna make a left here. And then you can see the camera right over here. Okay, we're gonna continue on. This one's indicating photo enforcement area. Almost uh, 600 feet away. One. Get up these pot 
portholes. Down to 460 feet. Photo enforcement area. It's the uh, Cobra Eye radar app on my iPhone. Whistler's indicating 330 feet. Seventy. There you can see them. The strobes. Pretty tricky. Tough to spot in Wilmington. Got another one. It was 110 feet. Traffic camera ahead. This one's indicating 370 feet. Got a bunch of them here on this road here. Area. It's the Cobra I radar app. Interestingly enough, this has been consistently counting down to the red light camera. Photo enforcement area. Even though the road's curved. Here they are. There's another one right here. And there's the uh, whistler indicating that we crossed, got to the location. So, so far the whistler's uh, database seems to be doing a good job here in Wilmington. We've passed the intersection now. Traffic. Camera ahead. Now the whist uh, the whistler's indicating that we have a traffic camera, 300 feet. But as you can see, we're getting on the highway here, so enforcement area. Cobra's doing the same type of alerting, and as you can see, we're on the highway now. So uh, the cheetahs approach vector-based control. Uh, approach to filtering out or alerting appears to be the more accurate, far more accurate way of minimizing false alerts and things of that nature. Alright, we're going to move on.